Welcome back uh, this Friday morning on CNBC's cash flow. The Korean market in uh, late session trade in Seoul is uh, still soft, down three tenths at uh, 1364 and change. And the KRW, the Korean currency, is steadier against the US dollar by a tenth of 1%, 1341.70. Earlier this morning, Asia's number four economy managed to a narrowly averse recession. Uh, helped by government spending and also aggressive rate cuts. The Korean economy grew a tenth of one percent on quarter uh, in the first quarter. That was in line with forecast. That's compared with a 5.1 percent contraction or shrinkage in the fourth quarter of last year. Daniel So is a regional economist at Forecast. He joins us here on set. Dan, did the numbers uh, surprise you at all? Uh, yes, uh, of course, it's in line with market expectation, but the number really look encouraging uh -huh. in the sense that South Korea economy may prove more resilient amidst this current global disintegration. Yeah. And I will not be surprised that South Korea may actually be one of the better performers, Asia performers, in, in this year. Uh -huh. Okay, in other words, you're, you're saying that uh, what the government has done so far, aggressive fiscal stimulus, also aggressive rate cuts, it's worked and it's enough or uh, does it, uh, is it more needed? Um, if you look at the fiscal stimulus, it's very important because South Korea is one of the few Asian economies who actually kick off a fiscal expansionary fiscal stimulus package since 2008, when all the Asian economies are grappling with overheating risk. So all these things are going to fit through over the last one and a half year, and so they will come in time to mitigate most of the damage done. Mm -hmm. Of course, the monetary condition index, if you look at the weak exchange rate and the record low interest rate, it means that there is, is so loose in the economy. Right now, because of some... Uh, concern about default, so the, the, there will be still a liquidity crowd. Mm. But down the line, when things stabilize, yeah. Yeah, this mm. burst of excess liquidity is going to stimulate uh, a robust recovery. I see. Uh, I see. So bottom line, no more rate cuts? or I would say no more rate cut, but the Bank of Korea is unlikely to, to openly say that there will be no more rate cut because they have to show their willingness to, to do something to support the economy in case sure. things prove to be worse than expected. Okay. And they are not going to do something like uh, they say there's no more rate cut, and in the mm. end they really endorse the rate cut. It's going to hurt sentiment even more. Sure. So right now they're going to leave the rate cut option open, yeah. but market is actually factoring no more rate cut and maybe even a rate hike for the yeah. next uh, interest rate move. Interesting. Is that priced into the currency, the KRW 1340? Is that is there good support there? I would say the currency for uh, the won, the dollar won, in total now will be fluctuating between 1,200 to 1,300 around this range. Right. So, but right now there's a sort of cautious sentiment because they are looking at the sustainability of the recent uh, world market rally. Yeah. They are saying that there may be a correction, hopefully mm -hmm. correction, not mm -hmm. a, another major sell down. Mm -hmm. So there's some dollar demand mm -hmm. because uh, signaling that some the risk diversion is pretty high, still still pretty high now. Mm -hmm. So no matter what, South Korean one is still one of the riskier asset, uh, riskier Asian currency, ah. high beta, high beta to, to external shock. So mm -hmm. this actually restrict the gains in okay. the one. Okay. All right. Interesting. Uh, whatever risk there is to the downside still for the one. I mean, this uh, uh, is important because we've talked about this before here on CNBC, and that is uh, the foreign debt obligations, especially that uh, Korean corporates are burdened with. If the currency continues to sink, it's going to cost them a lot more to repay that debt. How much of a risk is there on that debt? The risk will always be there because of the huge, uh, huge exposure. Because if you look at the financial mobility index in terms of the, uh, the foreign exchange, uh, external debt, yeah. short term plus long term, over the foreign, uh, foreign reserve, mm -hmm. that's the government ability to, to, to mitigate the risk if yeah. there's a sudden mass exodus of uh, uh, US, uh, US funds. Mm -hmm. So it's actually 0 0.94. So it's mm -hmm. actually the highest in, uh, across all Asian economy. Oh, interesting. So yeah, this, this risk will okay. always be there. Okay. All right. Listen, Dan, we got to go. Great to talk to you, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for your time. We've been talking to Daniel So from Forecast. CNBC's cash flow is coming right back.